you gotta love Studio Series 86, and from its Wave 1, the Voyager Hot Rod is one of the best ones. He follows the same rules as the rest of the Studio Series 86 lineup, which is total animation accuracy to that movie. Except he's a Wave 1 toy, which means he's not totally accurate. The color is wrong, the red is not pink, and the flame decal on the hood is also wrong. But that aside, this is a fantastic rendition of Hot Rod. I absolutely adore the details on here. And there's a few things that I, I don't quite love, but that's besides the point. The weapons can store can totally in alt mode. The windshield is pretty well paint matched. He rolls fairly well. The hood can open, which is insane. The paintwork on this is really good, even though he's basically a deluxe plus. But when we get to transformation, you'll see that like he's pretty in depth for what he is, which is a Voyager. Like I think even for a Voyager, this guy's transformation is kind of involved, especially for his size. He is pretty stubby, which is kind of strange, but it's fine. Here he is next to Machine Wars Hoist. Love that I got the grill on him. Uh, here he is next to Revenge of the Fallen Hubcap, as well as Reveal the Shield Jazz. Also has pinned wheels, which is amazing. And then Legacy Crankcase for size comparison. You can see he's pretty short and stubby. This was probably the most controversial Voyager class we had gotten in a long time because... He ain't very big. As you saw, he's about the size of a deluxe in car mode. Um, one of the reasons that he is a Voyager is, you kind of saw it, he does come with a lot of accessories. These are just three of them. The uh, saw blade, which is not actually a saw blade. It's like a little tooth, like a little hook, and it spins around really fast, which this is. Um, and then he has two of his guns, which I think he uses these in the movie. I think he does. I know he uses the, the saw blade thing. Um, but do be careful plugging these in. Mine is already stressed up because I've plugged them in. Um, he also comes with some blast effects. I only have one. I can't find the other one, but he does come with some flame blast effects, which you can plug into the, the back here, or maybe it's like, there we go, yeah, like that, to whoo, make him go faster. Um, and then he comes with a matrix, and he comes with a blast effect for the matrix, the... Uh, the you got the touch the you got the touch effect and it's it's pretty nice um it's a it's a good accessory um and like i said you're supposed to get two of these i can't find my other one though so we're gonna set all that off let's transform this guy uh we've talked enough open these up fold these in and this is where i get confused because it has been a hot second since i transformed this guy i know that you want to kind of pop this whole section so just kind of wiggle this until it pops out and then lift this rear section up then you want to detach the pipes here just kind of pop them loose and here's where the legs they fold inward and then outward and you kind of just got to move them it's very kibbly I, I i think is the right phrase uh rotate these in and then rotate them in they're supposed to tab in on the side there see some notches and some tabs and that's leg number one we'll do the same here fold it in and fold it out fold out the foot rotate the panels in on themselves which i really like i like how collapsed and chunky the legs are and they're they're pretty clean all things considered all right so we got the lower body done rotate this around and here's where things get a little dicey untab the arms and rotate the arms like so come down here or yeah back here fold this back fold out the head come right here rotate the entire torso around fold in the chest and click it into place rotate down the chest into that cavity there and do be careful this is a clear hinge so just be careful with that rotate the head around collapse the chest rotate the waist around there is a small tab right there and a little notch right there there it goes rotate these out fold them around and there's a pseudo five mil peg and that's just gonna rest right there um and we're gonna do the same on the other side fold out rotate and rest and there we go a pretty in-depth transformation for how small this guy is um i think this might be one of the most complex voyager class figures that we had gotten in, in a long time but there he is studio series 86 hot rod
first thoughts on hot rods robot mode is this guy is absolutely fantastic he's sleek he's slender he's felt he's poseable he's dynamic the head sculpt is smooth and heroic i love this guy's look he's just so good continuing on the posing on this dude is absolutely spectacular sure he has kind of the weird awkward hot rod shoulders but that's something to be forgiven and he poses around them absolutely spectacularly he has built-in accessories with the welding tool as well as the peg for the saw blade which means that you can also plug anything else that has a five millimeter port onto his wrist which is kind of insane he has his matrix with light effect i guess i don't really know what to call it. it's not a blast effect although do be careful it does tend to paint rub just a little bit even though it looks really really nice you can see some silver scraping off of that matrix right here on my blast effect but that said he also has the little flip down visor from the scene where he sees decepticons and starts just shooting it's pretty cool and this is usually how i have my hot rod i really love the visor flip out gimmick He's just so good. It's such a dynamic figure, and I'm really, really impressed how we were able to get this, that we were able to get this guy at all. It's I'm fumbling over my own words because I like this robot mode so much. Um, He is still a little bit of a deluxe plus in robot mode, so here he is next to his fellow uh, shelf guys. I don't know. Machine Wars Hoist, Laser Fire, Big Daddy, Yellow Splendid, and uh, let's get some modern stuff in there. We got Scourge, Leader Class Scourge, a deluxe class tow line and a legacy wind blade. There we go. Studio Series Hot Rods articulation. He has really good articulation, especially for like a Voyager Plus figure. Starting at the top, he has a pretty well emotive neck. It can waggle, bobble, look up, look down a little bit, and can wag side to side. He has very bad shoulders. They can swivel. They swivel at the shoulder and they butterfly just a little bit. Um, he has past 90 at the elbow and a bicep swivel or an elbow swivel. He has wrist swivel and opening and closing fingers, which is insane. Uh, do, 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 do. Move this up. Rotation at the waist, mainly for transformation. And then he has those really fantastic um, like hip skirts that move with the leg, like this new style. I really, really like this. I wish we had a name for it, like Bludgeon Hips or Earthrise Optimus Hips. But yeah, he has those. Uh, legs go out that far, about 90. Have a swivel there and a swivel at the thigh. It's a little limited going backwards just because of the way that they're sculpted. He has a double jointed knee, so the knee can get that far on regular knee and it can go that far on the secondary knee and together it goes like this but it gets a little deeper with just the base knee he has a ankle pivot which isn't super great and then the toe can go forward a little bit and back a little bit so overall some <coughs> sorry some really really great articulation on this guy really really love this uh this sculpt all in all hot rod is a good toy this is a fantastic voyager i he comes with a ton of accessories comes with a lot of play features and has a very intricate and pretty fun transformation he looks great with the other studio series 86 guys he looks great next to other autobots from war for cybertron and legacy he's just a good figure and if you missed out on him see if you can track him down see if you can get him because he is a great toy i really do like him he looks great next to rc looks great next to cup looks great next to ultra magnus the leader class or the commander class and is just a overall good time if you want a toy that looks sleek and heroic while posing definitely pick this guy up see if you can get the shattered glass one too because that one's amazing as well the color wise anyways thank you for watching Th let me know what you think in the comments below this has been bots obsession